The Chicago Region Environmental and Transportation Efficiency Program is a $3.2 billion project to improve the efficiency of the rail network in the Chicago area by building, amongst other things, flyovers to separate rail traffic on conflicting lines. While the need is fairly clear, finance for the project is stalled in the United States Congress. Topic: Problems. The tracks and junctions in the Chicago area have grown with little coordination between the railroads and the city since the first railroads arrived in the 1830s. There are a large number of at-grade crossings, sometimes not located a train length apart which is a problem as train lengths have grown. Some flyovers exist but do not always have sufficient clearance for tall or double stack trains. Some connections that would create short cuts for traffic are missing. There are also many highway crossings at grades. The congestion in the Chicago area is predicted to lead to severe disruption by the late 2010s without the completion of the CREATE program. Projects <laughs> 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 The program is composed of a total of 71 separate projects, of which 46 are eliminating rail junctions and the remainder are eliminating grade crossings. As of November 2017, a total of 29 had been fully completed, 5 were under construction, 4 are in final design, and another 13 are in the preliminary design and environmental review process. <laughs> Major projects Topic: Englewood Junction. Due to a $140 million project under construction as of May 2012, a junction in Englewood, Chicago, will get a flyover for Metra trackage above a Norfolk Southern route, eliminating a grade level crossing. 138 trains a day operate through the junction, which is the cause of the majority of delays in the Midwest for Amtrak trains. Planned since 2002, the project was originally to begin construction in late 2010, with a completion date in 2012. On the 22nd of June 2011, it was announced that the state of Illinois, Amtrak, Norfolk Southern and the Federal Railway Administration had signed a final agreement for financing the project. The federal government is paying 95% of the cost and it opened in October 2014. Topic: 75th Street Corridor. On a daily basis, 80 Metra and freight trains cross paths along the Belt Railway of Chicago on Chicago's south side near 75th Street. The project budgeted at $474 million, began construction in October 2018, and is scheduled to be completed in 2025. As a part of this project, Metra plans to reroute Southwest service commuter trains from Chicago Union Station to LaSalle Street Station, in order for high-speed passenger trains to operate into Union Station. Other projects 
construction of additional Union Pacific mainline trackage near Proviso Yard Signaling and grade separation improvements to the Indiana Harbor Belt Railroad General improvements to roadways near railroad overpasses Additional trackage, improved signaling and grade separations on CSX trackage in ALSIP Topic Funding Create is a public private partnership estimated to cost around $3 billion, up from an initial predicted cost of $1 billion. $230 million is to be supplied by railroads that are part of the program, with the remainder coming from governments at federal, state and local levels. In July 2010, a $100 million TIGER grant from the federal government was finalized. As of late 2010, a total of around $320 million had been committed to the project, with an additional $133 million to be provided from the American Recovery and Reinvestment Act. In 2018, CREATE received a $132 million grant from the United States Department of Transportation's USDOT Rebuilding America Infra grant program. Other sources of funding included grants from the Illinois Department of Transportation IDOT, the Association of American Railroads R, Cook County, Metra, the City of Chicago, and Amtrak. See also Brighton Park Crossing, one of the Chicago projects. Topic: External links. Create official website.